This is warm oysters with garlic, black beans and coriander. Now I've opened the oysters already but I've done a video showing you how to open oysters. A bit of a tricky one here in the UK to buy oysters already opened. All I can say is ask your fishmonger to shuck them. Otherwise have a look at my video. So here they are all opened. You'll see they've got liquid in them. I poured some of the liquid away just because there was a lot in there but the rest of the liquid it's nice and salty and goes up to making up the sauce. First of all I need to get a bit of a prep. This is a Chinese recipe but like a lot of Chinese seafood dishes very simple but you need to get everything prepared before you go ahead and cook. So first of all some ginger. I'm just going to slice this very thinly and then make some very fine brunoise or dice of ginger here. Cut that into thin slices, cut the thin slices into matchsticks like that and then there we go into a nice fine little dice. And when I cook them I'm just going to set the oysters, in other words I'm not going to sort of cook them till they're completely cooked through, I'm just going to cook them till they've just gone a little bit firm. Next in the prep line half a large clove of garlic, same thing, just very finely slice and very finely dice. Next I have some cucumber, down like that, down like that and cut those like that. What I love about these Chinese seafood dishes is everything is very fresh, hardly cooked at all. You get this wonderful combination of freshness and seafoodness. And I just got a few chives too. Just going to chop them up a little bit. And finally, a small handful of coriander. Again, chop that up a little bit. There we go. One last thing, the black beans. I just want to talk to you about these. You can get these in Oriental supermarkets. They're fermented soya beans. Smell delish. You can also buy black bean sauce or black bean sauce with some black beans in it, but by far and away the best flavour is these black beans themselves, which are dry. You just need to, to, to rinse them a little bit in water and chop them up a little bit. The flavour is sort of like soy sauce, but more so. And um, totally delicious. And it's one of those sort of things when you taste Chinese food, you taste this wonderful sort of savoury taste and you think what is that what on earth is that it's so nice so first of all pop the oysters under the grill here for about three minutes just to set them now we make a little bit of sauce with some dry sherry or Shaoxing wine or Chinese rice wine if you prefer which is obviously the right thing but a little bit of um, sesame oil a little bit of soy, about a tablespoon I suppose, maybe a little bit more, and finally the garlic and the black beans. Now just, I don't want to boil that, I've got that on at 60 degrees centigrade, at the moment I'll just move that up to 100 degrees just to warm through. Three minutes is up, so out come the oysters, as, as, as you can see they're they still look raw, but they're not quite. So now I'm going to dress them, first of all with cucumber, then with coriander and chives. So now we just put a little bit of the lovely black bean, soy, sherry, garlic sauce on each one. And there we have it. And that is for seafood as I like it. It's not neat and tidy, it's rough and ready, but when you eat that, every time I eat a Chinese seafood dish like that, I marvel at how clever they are because they don't lose any of the freshness of those oysters. Just complement it with some marvellous other tastes like coriander, soy, sherry and all the rest of it.